the most successful black artist you have probably never heard of. Winifred Apwell was a classical pianist who combined her traditional training with boogie woogie and ragtime tunes. Originally from Trinidad, she came to the UK to study at the Royal Academy of Music, played in London's clubs and theatres to supplement her income, and because of her unique style, which always included her trademark wink, she was quickly propelled to stardom and later became the first black woman to have a number one single. Perfect. Now the musician, who was also a qualified pharmacist, can add another major achievement to her name. She's being honoured with the very first black plaque in Brixton at the site of a beauty salon she owned and ran alongside her music career. In 1956 she founds Britain's very first black hair and beauty salon on this very site here, uh, 83C Railton Road, Brixton, and uh, she changes the face of black hair and beauty and fashion in the UK forever with this very, uh, on this very site, of course. By then, she's a very popular woman. She's really famous around the world. She's already had three consecutive number ones. She's sold uh, a, a, a slew of million selling discs. And I think we should erect more than one plaque, actually, on this site. We should put a plaque for the music. We should put a plaque for the fashion and the plaque for her being a wonderful phenomenon. Black plaques are the initiative of the Nubian Jack Community Trust a group which recognises the contribution ethnic minorities have made to society. The plaques will eventually be replaced with conventional ones. This will probably be up for a month or so, then we will permanently memorialise Winifred with a blue plaque, and that has already been agreed. So this is just a, an awareness campaign for her, but once the blue plaque is there, it will remain there forever. So now the queen of the keyboard who died in 1983 finally has her place in history. Ronke Phillips, ITV News.